fun. All right, we're here at Sunnyside Diner number two yes. on the south side of Oklahoma City with Allie Cunningham. She's a co-owner. Allie, how's it going? Good. Thanks for coming in today. You betcha. We're happy to be here, and we're very happy that you came down to visit with us at this store because it just opened a third. Yes. Yeah, so you've got Two stores, two months. Oh, no my gosh. Deal. So you must be doing something right here at Sunnyside. Tell us, what has been the draw? The draw has been that there is a need in Oklahoma City in the surrounding area for a classic, clean, <laughs> simple diner. I like that. Clean. Yeah, it's like it's like you clean up every day and right. you scrub and you make everything from scratch, right? Absolutely. From scratch, um, you know, it's we put so much love and energy into our food. They're not just recipes. They are they come from our childhood, from mm -hmm. Shannon's, you know, Sunday morning breakfast with yeah. mom. That's where all of this comes from. Awesome. All right, well, let's get right to it. Take us through, you know, okay, so if I want a, a straightforward breakfast, what do I get here at Sunnyside? You go with the classic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's two eggs, mm -hmm. bacon or sausage, you get some hash browns and toast. Yeah. Nothing fancy, just really well done, right? Right, absolutely. The, uh, the, the kind of kick to that would be the strawberry jam that we make ah. in-house that we serve on the side. Yeah. I mean, we have people coming in asking for jars of it. Uh -huh. Look for that on your store shelf soon, I, I hope. <laughs> okay, so I want a big I want a big breakfast. Big dude, come in hungry. What's what's the item for me? That would be the hangry man. Okay. Makes sense, that. right? We keep sense. it simple. If you're hungry, you want something traditional, go with a classic. All right, if so what's on hungry, that? If you're hungry, go with the hangry man so you can get two giant pancakes, you know, the size of your face. Mm -hmm. um, and then hash browns, you get to choose a protein. Uh, and then you also get two orders of eggs as well. Um, but those pancakes, they're fluffy, they're <laughs> thick. Oh, they're so good. That's great. All right, so what if I want something a little lighter? Coming in, I'm thinking, oh, late night last night, need to eat, but I don't want to eat too much. Talk to me about that. Okay, so we can do egg white anything. So okay. you can get a two egg omelet, a three egg omelet. There really aren't any limitations to our menu. If mm -hmm. you come in and you're like, I'm not that hungry, but I still want a classic, mm -hmm. how about we do half a classic for you? There you go. I mean, that's the great thing about this diner is that we do have a menu, but we can do anything. That's awesome, yeah. Well, it comes from having a chef who trains the staff and all yes. that stuff, right? Yes. All right, so, but Breakfast isn't everything, right? You got lunch in here, right? Oh yeah, I mean a meatloaf is it's classic staple to mm -hmm. a diner, and so we have lunch items. We've got wraps, salads, uh, the all-American hamburger, which you know we know how to do some burgers. <laughs> Done a couple of those over. <laughs> Little experience with that, um, but yeah, we have a club sandwich. Again, classic items that you would see in a diner. That's awesome. All right. So now you also have something a lot of diners don't have, which is something with a little higher octane, correct? Uh, are you referring to our cocktails? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't think there's anything considered brunch without a little right, alcohol right, to it. So right. we've got our Bloody Saturday, which mm -hmm. is a bloody beer. That's my personal favorite and okay. a staple to my Saturday. Um, bloody Sunday, classic Bloody Mary. Uh, we've got a thank you very matcha, which is a basil matcha mojito. So okay. we can make it a little fun too. All right. All right. Well, now you got three locations, and I assume more to come, but we won't get into that. Don't want to put any pressure. <laughs> but it, obviously, things have been going well. You've got three inside. How long has it taken you to, to build three restaurants? So the original started in mm -hmm. June of 2016, mm -hmm. and then, like I said, in the just past two months, yeah. Boom, so boom. great response, right? Yes, yes. We're not doing this because we we feel like we need to force ourselves on mm -hmm. Oklahoma City. We're doing it because there's a need. We've been mm -hmm. asked. We're you know we're being sent to sites to check out. Yeah, and, and it's filling it very well. And lastly, I'd be remiss not to mention this, but you guys are really civically minded. You, you involve yourselves in a lot of community organizations. Talk a little bit about sort of the uh, charitable DNA of Sunnyside. Okay, that's where the heart of it is. We've got uh, community outreach programs at all of our diners. We have uh, the Sunnyside Street Team, where we do homeless outreach. Um, we've, I think now at this point this year, 300 bags have been handed out to the homeless. We have pantries at uh, uh, all of our diners give and take pantries, so give something if you've got extra, take something if you need it. Right. Um, so we try to remember that we are not just a restaurant in a neighborhood, we are part of a community, and so we reach out to our neighbors and, and see what their needs are. Yeah. Different in every spot, but that's very, very important to us. That's super important to the entire community. I know it makes it a stronger community for us to, for us to all live in, and we appreciate that. Well, thank you. Now, last thing, are all three places have the same hours? This location, our mm -hmm. south location, just mm -hmm. recently switched over to okay. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. Everything else is 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Right. Very good. Thanks for having us out. Thank you.